Good morning, everyone. Oh, no, it's afternoon when you see the health cycles. Uh, I've been away again. Yeah. So after the flu shot, I got the flu. But it didn't take as long as it normally did, so that's good. When I get the flu, it's usually something like two weeks. And now it was only like five days. So that turned out really well. But I and I didn't get as sick as I normally do with uh, really a lot of um, fever and all that kind of thing. It was uh, pretty much, um, you know, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Now I'm gonna try something out, and um, if uh, if it doesn't work, <laughs> you won't see the video, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, you will. I don't care. I put my failures online too. Okay, what I'm uh, going to do is something I saw online. I'll do a link under this video to direct you to the person I saw do this. And what we're going to do is, and the thing is, I'm not sure if this paint has silicone in it. So that's a, a little bit of a bummer that I don't know if it has silicone in it, but we'll see. So what I'm doing is making little circles with color and of course leaving a little white in between I think I'll skip the orange oops that one's full so sorry for the little sniffles but you know that's just what happens when you get the flu so we're gonna put that one around and then a darker color around like that and I would like a little bit of a variation so I'm gonna put a little bit of different colors in here there you go now when I I'm, I'm gonna put this wet tissue on top like this that is really pretty. Then we're going to give it a slight little tap. And then we're going to pull it up. Like this. And see what happens. Ooh. Now, I was expecting it to do a little bit of a different thing. Although there are some really awesome cells in there. I'll show you up close. Look at those cells. They're pretty. And now I'm going to make them spread out because I was expecting it to go a little bit bigger. But we can do that by spreading. Ooh, you have to go down there. Well, it is kind of a fun little thing to see, but it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. So, I guess you'll have to go over to the, uh, ooh, look at that, it's just shifting all over the place. So I'll have to direct you to the person that really did a pretty one, although this is turning out really pretty. Now the green is coming through, and the cells are sort of staying together. That's kind of nice. I'm going to make it really stretch out. There are some really nice cells in here. Oh, wait a minute, let me get you in close. Look at that, this, this bit here. That's really beautiful. I love it. I think I'll keep it, but I'm not really thinking, wow, this is something really beautiful. Not yet, though. Let's see if we put some sort of a... Nee, I'm not too wild about it. Well, this is kind of pretty, but, you know, when you have something else in your mind, that's usually... We, we start out with something in our mind, and then it doesn't turn out to be that, and then all of a sudden we don't like it anymore. But believe me, just save it, put it away, and I'm pretty sure that you will absolutely, when you come back to it in a couple of days, you'll like it better. 
I'm pretty sure about that. Should I blow out the, the edges? Maybe that's a good thing to do. Let's see. Eh, it doesn't really add to the uh, painting much, but... That is kind of nice. I do like that. does give it a kind of a oh that is really nice I like this little bit here <laughs> the whole painting I don't like but I like that I think it r reminds me of uh, some sort of a, a rose with a with the little petals on it okay that's it that's big enough for me to frame it Smaller or bigger. It's kind of nice. I can live with it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.